Hey guys, I want to take just a moment of your time and share something with you that the Lord put on my heart from studying His Word uh, this morning. At the end of the book of John, uh, chapter 21, there's that famous story where the disciples are out fishing uh, all night. They've caught nothing. As they're coming back, Jesus, the resurrected Lord, uh, asks them if they've caught anything. And they say, nope. And he says, well, cast your nets to the other side of the boat and you'll make a catch. They don't recognize him at this point, but for some reason they take this stranger's advice. And, and just like he said, there's this, this amazing catch. John says that there was 153 large fish in there, which was a lot. Um, and at some point in that, as they're bringing the fish into the boats, um, John goes, it's the Lord. That's who it is. That's, that's who the man on the shore is. It's the Lord. And Peter, in that moment, instead of helping his compadres get all the fish and bring the boats to shore, when he hears John say, it's the Lord, something clicks in his mind. An old, impetuous Peter throws on his outer garment and plunges himself into the water, swimming towards Jesus. And I just want to tell you, there is something incredibly beautiful about Peter's desperation and his commitment to Christ in this moment. He could have rationalized and said, you know what, maybe that is the Lord, but i got to help my brothers here as we, as we get this fish to shore, as we get this catch. The, the nets are almost breaking. There's so many fish. I, I really need to wait here and help them. But that's not what he says. Instead, he, he flings himself into the water to go be near Jesus. He doesn't let anything hold him back from getting near Jesus in that moment. And I just want to ask you, is there anything that would hold you back? Are there any rationalizations or excuses that, that you've been using? Because we're, we're so good at coming up with excuses. We're so good at, at waiting around and, until the opportunity has passed us by. I just want to ask you, are you willing to just jump in headlong for Jesus? Will you do whatever it takes to get near him? Will you make the tough decisions that will draw you closer and closer to the Lord? This has been a common theme that the Lord's been beating on my heart recently, and he's leading me to make tough decisions, sacrificial decisions, decisions that will cost me things in this world, so in hopes that I might draw closer to him. And that's what I ask you. Are you willing to jump in to seek Christ? Have a great day, guys.